Friends in today's video, I will unbox Value Company's Vacuum Pump, whose motto is Value Creates Value. And how can you work with this tool? When we open the box of the vacuum pump, I got three things inside it. First is its operating manual. Reading the manual, you will learn how to use and operate this vacuum pump completely. Besides this, we get an oil bottle which I have filled inside the vacuum pump. This oil is available in the market and used for compressors. You can use that oil as well. And finally, you get a vacuum pump. It has a pump inside same like a compressor. It has a motor on the back side of the vacuum pump. Its junction box on the top has the electric supply. The compressor pump is attached here on the front. First of all, you have to fill it with oil. Let me tell you how you will fill the oil inside this vacuum pump. I have zoomed in on the camera and see the oil written on its cap. You have to fill the oil here. Open the top cap of the vacuum pump. Pour oil inside this. And what should be the oil level? Let me show you. As you can see, I have already filled the vacuum pump with oil. I have filled the oil to the maximum value in the vacuum pump. When the oil gets to the minimum value, you can still use it, but if it's below the minimum level, you cannot use it. So it would be best to keep the vacuum pump at the maximum. Then the chance of the vacuum pump getting bad will be low. Now, let me tell you that a vacuum pump is an excellent machine for vacuuming any system. But, if you use refrigerators or air conditioners compressors for vacuuming, they don't vacuum a system 100%. So if we see the specification of the vacuum pump, let me show you. The model number is written on the top. Its FAD is 2.0 CFM. So that means it vacuums at 2 cubic feet per minute. And the capacity to vacuum air from a system is 150 microns, which is a good capacity. The system will be vacuumed accurately when you use this or any vacuum pump. But when you vacuum a system through an air conditioner compressor, then the chances are not 100% for the system to be vacuumed. It has a fan installed here with the motor to cool it down. See the design of its body. It is made with aluminum as a hit sink shape to cool it down. Now let me tell you how to vacuum the air out of a system using this pump. Attach 1x4 charging line here with the screw. This is the suction point. The discharge point is present here. See, I am still a student, and I learn new things from others. You also understand that you don't have to open the cap while vacuuming any system. You have to close it because it will be saved from being damaged when the cap is closed. Because when it runs, it makes a sound here. That sound is finished here. Besides this, the oil does not come out of this vacuum pump. Now let me show you how it works because most people get confused about where its discharge point is. Now I am opening it to show you what is inside it. But, first, I put the nose plier inside it. And I have opened it using the tool. Now I will push it outside. The company has made an excellent system in it. First, a metal filter is installed on the top. After that, again, a filter is installed. If you see it carefully, holes are drilled inside it. They are three of them. The air goes out from these holes. It has one drawback, when this pump gets leaned on one side. The oil will go out from it. So always take care not to bend the vacuum pump on the side. This is for today's video. I will see you at the next one. Watch our more videos by clicking on the left or right thumbnail on the screen. And subscribe, it's free. Thank you.